Hello! Having already viewed previous videos discussing talent data preparation, you should already be familiar with the phrase semantic analysis or semantic awareness. I've often referenced the terms when reviewing the column headers and their assigned semantic types, but how does semantic analysis actually work? In talent data preparation, I am working on a preparation. As the dataset was added, the system applied semantic analysis and automatically detected and classified each column's type. It used this classification to indicate to me and my team what data fields are valid or invalid. But sometimes the assigned semantic type isn't quite right. Check out my zip codes. I need to find a more appropriate postal code type to make this data valid. Talent offers a great feature that not only suggests a type based on level of accuracy, but also lets me search for a type that may be even more appropriate. Unfortunately, it looks like the best type doesn't exist yet, so let's create one. I will head to the semantic type dictionary, listing all the semantic types available to me and my team. As mentioned in previous videos, the Semantic Type Dictionary is managed by Talent Data Inventory, a centralized cloud-based repository of connections, datasets, and sure enough, semantic types that can be accessed and consistently applied across many of Talent's cloud-based applications. This means that any semantic type created or edited by me or a team member will automatically be reflected across other Talent Data Fabric applications, improving efficiency and consistency. In the Semantic Types Dictionary, search for and dive into a semantic type tile to review specifics on each function. For example, within the U.S. Postal Dictionary, I can see that it's considered a regular expression, a sequence of characters that define a search pattern and applies this required validation pattern to identify U.S. postal codes. I want to create a new semantic type and call it All Postal Codes. For this new type, I'll select a compound type, which allows me to combine several existing semantic types, called children types, into one. I'll choose to include all existing postal codes, giving my All Postal Code Dictionary the power to identify all postal codes found within a dataset. I'll save and publish to make my new semantic type available to all users within my team across the Talent Data Fabric cloud-based applications. Now back in my preparation, I can classify my data column using my new All Postal Codes type and my data is validated against these new semantic rules. Continuing through my other columns, I notice that even though my semantic type has correctly identified my state codes, the entry DC is still considered invalid. Looks like I need to update the state code semantic type. I'll head back to my semantic type dictionary and search for state code. Here it is. And this is classified as a dictionary data type, meaning it contains a collection of values. As suspected, DC is not listed, so I'll add it. I can save and publish. Now back in my preparation, I have no invalid data since DC is now considered a valid state code within the state code semantic type. And that's how you create new or change existing semantic types. Thanks for watching and please continue watching for more demonstrations on what talent can do for you.